put a finger down if you got married way too young to someone who turned out to be a domestic abuser. And the first time you found that out was when your daughter was two and she hit your daughter in the face and you wanted to divorce her and you went to your parents and because you were only 20 years old and they say no you don't want to divorce her because you're going to get stuck with child support and all this stuff so you try to make it work six kids later you come home from work one day your oldest daughter runs away because her mother choked her smacked her in the face beat her up so you file for divorce and the older daughter who got uh, choked put a finger down if your older daughter who got choked then tells you that she's going to lie to the police and say that never happened. But now it's too late. You're already processing the divorce. You're hoping for the best. But that lady, that domestic abuser, that narcissist, she goes ahead and starts committing parental alienation. And so now you're rejected by your two oldest daughters and your Younger kids get weaponized against you, weaponized to the point where they get violent with you. Put a finger down if your children got violent with you after being weaponized by a narcissist who is now your ex-wife. And put a finger down if you move across the country for your children from California to Ohio just to be with your kids. And you fight in court and you fight and it's a hard battle because nobody's believing you that she's an abuser because all the kids are lying and she's lying. But you end up with equal time. So now you've got a split custody Put a finger down if then your six-year-old comes to you and tells you he's being abused physically and emotionally and anything in between. And put a finger down if then you take custody of your kid and file for full, file for full custody and spend a year in court having taken your son, putting your son into counseling and having a very healthy life for him, a very stable and healthy life for him. And put a finger down if you catch your domestic abuser on camera hitting you and then put a finger down if you present that evidence in court and have a Cuyahoga County magistrate shame you for it, blame you for it, and ultimately take custody of your kids away for it. I wanted her to be charged. She's, She's been doing domestic violence this whole time and I finally had it on tape. Of course I wanted her to be charged. She hit me. She, grabbed she my hit that phone out of your hand. She hit the phone well, out of your hand. She, she made slapped contact the phone. With, is that what is that is that the act you're talking about? She slapped I made contact with my body. So oh honor. my god. You just need to stop it. Cuz what you're doing is you're you're introducing more toxicity to your kids. I put a finger down if 5 years later your second oldest daughter comes back at the age of 20 testifies against her mother in court. She's dangerous. She's a very dangerous person. Put a finger down if you have the entire audio of the court, including a lot of video of other things, and you intend to expose this entire thing to the world because the system is corrupt. It was a child protective service worker who lied, exposed her on video in court. Put a finger down if you represented yourself, but she's got a slimy attorney who like is literally from the movies, the kind of slime bag this is, and put a finger down if you still weren't believed and put a finger down if there's a magistrate in Cuyahoga County that said that you're lying about the abuse and therefore you are the parental alienation person and put a finger down if he stripped full custody of all of your children from you for a full year. Put a finger down if it gets worse. Put a finger down if when they came to collect our son, our six year old, or now eight year old son, he's riding his scooter in the street and they come ambush him and snatch him and he's screaming and yelling and put a finger down if your 15 year old son and ex-wife literally try to kill you in the street. They sneak up behind you, put a finger down if you got ambushed from behind. Your, your 15 year old son throws in a choke. Your ex-wife is pulling your fingers out as you're trying to defend that choke. Put a finger down if that day resulted in domestic violence charges and assault charges and strangulation charges against your ex-wife and son and put a finger down if you still can't get your eight-year-old son back. Go ahead. I'm coming. I'm not recording this right now, are you? No.